Right then, carnage video. So if you're not interested in racing videos, I do apologize, this is an extra one. But if you're into engineering, you might be able to help us. So who do you come to, to help you out when something goes wrong? In our case, we haven't really got that many people that can help us when something like this goes wrong. So we're doing a bit of crowdsourcing our engineering, I think. Hopefully somebody out there goes, I've had that problem. You do this and it fixes it and it'll never happen again. Not holding my breath, but I hope there is. So as you can see here, this is my race car and this cam belt doesn't look like it's in one piece. So this is the fourth time, the third time in this car, but the fourth time that this has happened now. We blame it on various things. So the first time last year that happened, I went from something like seventh to second in a race, lap two, bang, gone. This had happened. We put that down to something getting into the cam belt because the back of the belt were damaged. So we didn't really do anything different. Put it all back together, beginning of this season, happened again. That time we thought that the cam lobes had slipped because all these are just pressed on. It's like the new way of doing things on pretty much every engine now. But all these are just pressed on with little splines and they're only tiny little splines that can still spin. So we welded all the lobes back together and hope for the best. The other thing we were doing as well, because we are trying to run this engine with a different ECU, the cam trigger that these run as standards, not the right one. So we were putting a new cam pulley on, which we've got one here. This, this is not the fact. So this is like off the older engine and we we're messing about making this fit with boring it out and putting a key in it and stuff like that. So we sort of blamed it on the fact that we're trying to run a heavier top pulley or something like that. But obviously that weren't the case either because it happened again. And then the next time it happened, we put it down to the fact that maybe we got the dual mass flywheel on there, which is not a diesel dual mass flywheel because this has got an eight bolt crank. You can only get a petrol dual mass manual flywheel. So we put it back to single mass flywheel and it's happened again. So, but this last time that it's happened had some very similar sort of looks about it that the, the previous failure had, and that was that the belt was getting slit. So what we think's happening, which is some weird damage on it, it's pulled the teeth off, but it had locked up on all the exhaust valves. What we think's happening is this area here is where obviously it's gonna be a little bit slack at times. So it seems to happen under power rather than deceleration, but whether the damage has already occurred, we're not too sure. But we reckon that the belt is getting trapped. I'll try and move trapped and this or maybe this maybe this side it's probably this side is cutting into the belt and then that's what's damaging it and then it's all getting clogged up and away you go because it literally we've, we've put i'm assuming by now we've put the failures in but You <laughs> just noticed it in there. <laughs> yeah, the fail you should have seen the videos of them. It looks very undramatic from the camera, but when you're obviously driving the car, it's just power's just gone instantly, just bang, gone. The problem is then, obviously, it's happened to me once in testing and twice in races, that when it happens, you think, oh, it's just gone into limp mode, the engine just cut out, popped a pipe off, whatever, let's reset it in the way you go so it's done a lot of a lot of revolutions before i've realized that yeah it's done what it's doing usually you pull it over and you start you can eat it like that audible no compression wine that you get when a cam belt's broken so if it just happened immediately and you turned it off i think we'd get a and dip the clutch i think we'd get a better idea but the other thing that we have seen which i'll take this off I'll take this off throw that crap on the floor. so as you can see here it looks like the belt's been rubbing quite a bit on this, so there's nothing stopping it going that way really, other than when it gets to this tensioner that's got the sides on. So the other fix that we're thinking about doing is trying to find a pulley that's got this diameter but with some sides on. So that's another thing to try and do, which we'll get onto that now. 
This is the CUAA belt. It's got Kevlar in it. It is the strongest cam belt that you can get on a Volkswagen engine as far as we know. This is the standard Mark 7 one, which is the same dimension. So is it that this belt's that much stiffer, that it's wobbling more than stretching a little bit, and then this one would be better? I don't know. So maybe we'll try that, because we've never on any of our race cars snapped a belt. Not even on the Arosa when I've banged it into first gear and it should have been third gear and the engine's done 9,000 RPM and I've done an endo and snapped every crank bolt. The cam belts are strong anyway, so does it need this extra strength? Well, the extra strength there just so it lasted another 20,000 miles and made the overall emission of the car better, probably, and they're expensive as well. So I don't know. I think we might try that and the pull it. I don't know. If anybody's got any ideas what to try, tried and tested, not just guessing, any ideas, drop us a message. Email will be better, but if you put it in comments, be an email address, I don't know. Whatever you think's better, let us know. Hopefully this video's not gone on too long about that. Yeah, hopefully the fix and putting it back together is coming very shortly.